Once upon a time, computing looked like this. The computer can be made to carry them out almost automatically. Now meet Sycamore, <gasps> a quantum computer processor. Google claims this has done what other classical computers have never been able to do, solving a really hard, like really hard, problem in three minutes. Google says it would take 10,000 years for today's fastest supercomputer to do almost the same thing. But one of their biggest competitors, IBM, says this is an exaggeration. Nonetheless, Google is calling their experiment quantum supremacy. What Google did is a very valuable step and very important for the field, and they should be applauded. Let's look at the difference between a quantum and a regular computer. Your average model uses bits, while a quantum computer uses qubits, which can make more powerful calculations. Instead of taking one path to do something, quantum computers look at all the possible paths to solve the problem faster. So what does quantum computing mean for the future? Google says it can be used to design new materials, including lightweight batteries for cars and planes. But will the average person be able to use a quantum computer anytime soon? Probably not. Google has one, IBM has one. These things typically are kept at an extremely cold temperature. It's not something that we can put in a plastic box and ship to the public. A lot of people are making progress, but it's really something that will happen in the future.